Seven, look which more Final Fantasy Seven remake. Continuing on with Chapter Eight, which I'm hoping we'll be able to finish, if not getting real close to finish. We got a few more side quests that we got to get jo uh, done here before we're able to continue on with the main mission. But anyway, hope you guys have a good day today. I'm actually very excited about this video. I know I say this about a lot of these Final Fantasy VII Remake videos, but I'm just really glad. This this game just makes me smile, and it just makes me want to keep on playing it. But um, anyway, without further ado... Let's see which uh, side quest we got to do. But last time we left off, we opened up Paying Respects, and we also opened up the Angel of the Slums. Let's go down here. Where am I at? Oh, there we go. And of course, the main one right here, Request for the Mercenary, which we won't worry about that one just yet. So without further ado... Uh, the side quest, uh, the side quest I'm going to be tackling now is Angel of the Slums. And the first thing we need to do here is talk to this dude right here. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our Undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I wish I could have helped okay, now we just gotta go in here. I thought we'd put those yeah, this person that he's talking about here is like a modern day Robin Hood. I let us move on. Now, I could talk to all these people here and see what all they... Well, actually, I can't. It looks like most of them don't even have triangles on them. But you can probably notice one that did have a triangle on them, and that is this lady right here. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you, the defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. I'm not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. I call it curiosity, or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway... It so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Fair enough. Oh, that's why we can't run in the building, so we just gotta go back out. Oh, sorry. Now let's talk to Damon again. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille, as in the Mireille, the town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? 
This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. <laughs> oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Okay, well, let's look at the map here and see if we can find Lookout Point. Lookout Point is quite a ways away. It's, it's along the way in which we fought the uh, those uh, mono drive enemies in the last video. And yes, there is a big enemy that we do have to take care of before we can progress anymore in this particular que uh, quest, unfortunately. Let me just go go in here. I obtained a potion and an antidote. Yeah, it's quite a ways away, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll go through here. And you can tell we're getting close to because we see a lot more in oh. Here goes. There we go. See you around. And now we can't now nobody can say that we didn't use Earth or anything. <laughs> But anyway, we just gotta go along here. And you see that bucket of bolts right there? That's that beast that Murray was talking about. Punch through. Right. We got and this thing is known as the Chromonger. But anyway, I've already assessed this thing, but as you can see, it's weak to uh, Thunder. And it's an autonomous robot discarded by Shinra as part of its self-repair self protocol. It used nearby scrap metal to repair its body. It knocks down foes by swinging its arm with a wrecking ball attached. Normally, attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it, make it susceptible to stagger. Come on. I'll show you what I okay, can uh, do. Come on. Somebody has to have a spell ready. Thank you. Let's unleash some thun thundaga on this thing. Okay, spells. Thundaga. You can do it. My turn. There we go. Let's hurry up and finish this thing. Nice. Look around for what? Oh! That's what we're supposed to look for. Guardian Angel's calling codes Guardian obtained. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. 
I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Yeah, the Angel of the Slums kind of sounds like a Sector 5 version of Robin Hood. But anyway, we're going to report back to Damon. But anyway, let's look at a, a review of this particular quest. Talk to him. I can't believe it. You found one of her calling cards. This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself. Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around. I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and Ooh, no 2,000 gil. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. HP and MP fully restored. Angel or the slums completed. And with that, I'm saving uh, uh, probably my least favorite quest in the entire game for last. And you're gonna see in a few minutes why it's my least favorite quest. Sounds like you made a real name for yourself. And anyway, we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna talk to this old man right here. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Yep, and that's exactly why I bought the key for this quest. Oh, sorry. Let me make sure I know exactly where I'm going. Okay, we pretty much have to go the same direction that we have been the past, sorry, the past couple side quests here. Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, we take a ray here, and we have to take another ray. And we're going to access an area that we weren't able to early on in the, ch in the chapter. And now that we got the graveyard key from the, uh, the Moogle merchant. Now we got to deal with these things. Okay, let's... Let's assess these things. This thing is weak to ice. 
And it's a subspecies of the grass strike that is marked with yellow and black patterning on its carapace. It is also armed with a highly po potent poison. Tactical data not available. Okay, you can see a bench right there, which we we can't access right now. I'll take care of them. Come on! I want to use some spells, folks. Okay, spells. Lazaga. Take it from here. Here goes. Cool. This one's for you. Okay, spells. Lazaga. You can do it. All right. Okay, that one is gone. You could probably, uh, you probably notice that the poison materia has been improved. Okay, spells. Okay. Pushing it. Sure. However, I can help. Gotta go for it now. Fight through. One more shot. Okay, nice. Two hundred fifty-two gil. You want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. Okay, we turn to the old man. Okay, this is the part coming up right here that I don't like. But anyway, a recap of the paying respects. Um, quest. You can see we skipped uh, step three here in the last video. But anyway, let's talk to the old man. Who, by the way. Puts me in mind of Charles Bronson a little bit. If you don't know who Charles Bronson is, I suggest looking him up because he was a pretty cool guy. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. Oh, I a started bracer. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. <sighs> That's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I'd never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Ugh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Now, this is the part right here that we probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. But yeah, with that, we are done with the side quests. But yeah, that, that side quest, it really made Cloud look, go from a z hero to a zero real quick. I mean, he already bought the, the key from uh, the Moogle merchant, from Moggy as it is. Why couldn't he, he just return the key himself and he could see that that guy was a pretty decrepit and sad and everything else. Why would he have him do that? God, I hate that. That, that I, I, you have no idea how bad how bad I cringed throughout that whole thing. But just to recap here, you can see we did everything here. But yeah, that was really awful of Cloud to do that. I mean, I know he's taking jobs for money, but. You would have thought that he would have just made that exception just one time. Yeah, that was just awful. Oh, here we go.
Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Don't take it personal. Now, I don't mind Rude compared to Reno. I mean, he's no walking <laughs> perk. All the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Oh, crap. Come on. No. Take the lead. Come on, can I please use a spell? Thank you. And believe it or not, Rude is we uh, weak to yeah, win. Come on, man. I got you. There we go. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. Can't. It's my job. And think about ability, soldiering. Let's do that. Tagging out. My Come on. Spells. And this should do it. Nice. Please. That's not. Leave us alone. You know I can't do that. Oh, how nice. Hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. OG Final Fantasy 7 fanfare music hype. Is somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Oh, boo-hoo. And I was just having fun, too. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? <laughs> I wonder how many pairs of sunglasses he owns. Because that's, that's pretty funny that he got was one pair broken and the other one's just... He was able to just uh, just get a new pair out like it's nothing. But anyway, no, let's just keep on going through here. Wait a sec. So, you coming? And this discovery quest right here is what happens when you complete all the side quests in uh, chapter 8. But anyway, let's go ahead and follow Aerith here. You see, there's a materia up there.
uh, you talking to the... Shh. So, yeah, it was that kind of day. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But... Before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay, before I follow you, Earth, I do want to get and get this materia here. You obtain an orb of MP up materia. But anyway, we gotta make our way back to Earth's house. You're heading in already? Return to Earth's house? We really have nothing else to do, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's enough for one day. There's really nothing else we do. We pretty much did everything we could here in Sector 5. At least all the Where important have you stuff. Two been? I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? There's a very good reason her mom is the way that she is. A reason you'll find out later. Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Oh, I... I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. 
That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Oh, I hate. I, f I just remember this, but I hate this part. Ah. Uh. I just remembered. Oh my god. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Now the object here is to get through here, which by the way the main scenario is the place of strength. We have to get out of here without making a sound or else we get back up here because Aerith will catch us and want us to stay here in the guest room. Just gotta be real careful. And of course, this hallway here is like littered with crap. Oh shoot, and that's what happens. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in yeah, the morning. Yeah, she will not let you leave. take you straight home. Uh... Okay. I don't know how long this is going to take. But needless to say, once we get done with this part, we're going to end this video. Don't let her hear me again. Have to be real careful. I'm sorry, this is going to be real boring for you guys, but. Just gotta be real, real careful. This is so stupid. This is really stupid. They really could have done without this stupid part in this game. I don't bump into anything. No, no. Come on. What kind of camera angle is this? No. Oh my god. It, this camera angle is going to screw me over. Just gotta nudge it real quick. Okay, I think we're home free now. Just gotta be real careful going down the steps. Make sure I don't make any noise. I know this is not real exciting, but... Just gotta take my time here. But yeah, if I were mess messed up because of that camera angle, I would have been upset. But yeah, this is actually gonna make a perfect thing for the uh, end of the video.
You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? Thank it's God. Simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Okay, we can now leave. But yeah, that's that's probably the worst and pointless thing in this game. If I have one complaint about this game, that is how stupid that particular thing was. Let me see if I can make my way out of here, which... Just gotta go through here. And going through here should end Chapter 8. Nice and peaceful at night time, if I do say so myself. Might as well check out Walmart while I'm down here. Let's see where I need to go. Oh. Okay, I need to go through here. I tried that new Chocobo fabric softener. Chocobo fabric softener, huh? That's interesting. But anyway, we're gonna go through here. As you can see, we're not too far away from where we need to be. Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Well, we're <laughs> sick of you. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. nothing remember that vision that he had when he in the uh, sector seven uh, uh, in the church of sector five which by the way I forgot to go back whenever she said go back in the house I should have said no I should have went back to the church should have gone back to the church and got that yellow chakra material but oh uh, I guess we'll get that I guess I'll have to do that off camera but um, yeah that is one thing I did forget to pick up, but... Anyway... We're gonna end things off here. I know we just started Chapter 9, but... Chapter 9 is just as long, if not longer, than Chapter 8. And we will be starting that in the next video, which will be, um... Which would be Saturday. I'm sorry, but I'm actually recording this on... Uh, November 29th at 1.14 a.m. as I'm speaking right now. So it's kind of hard for me to keep track of days, but the next video, see, you guys are seeing this on a Thursday, and the next video, uh, uh the next episode of this will be in, uh, on Saturday. And that's when we'll begin Chapter 9. I do have to say that Chapter 9 is probably my favorite chapter in this entire game. So, needless to say, I'm gonna be hyped up about the next video when it comes out, which will be Saturday. Hope you guys are excited about this, so... I'm gonna end this video by having you guys listen to some of this music. It's probably one of my favorite tracks in the game, but, um... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.